Happy Sunday to you all, my beloved brethren. I want to thank God for giving us the grace and the privilege to gather together in this family Sunday where we are standing in God for our family. I trusted the Lord for the release of his prevailing grace to renew his blessings and his protection in the life of every member of our family. In the book of Romans chapter 5 and verse number 19, the Bible says, Through the disobedience of one man, many were made sinners. Also, through the obedience of one man, many shall be made righteous. So I want to believe that no matter what has opened the door for anything that does not glorify God in any family that is represented in this service today, because you and I are connecting in one accord and trusting the Lord for the manifestation of His prevailing grace in our families, I pray that God will turn them around in the name of Jesus Christ. So I want to encourage everyone of you to make sure you release your faith as we always have it. It's a day that we pray for our respective families and also for the family of Triumph and Chapel. So in the course of the service, I want to encourage all of you to draw up some prayer items and pray for your family and for the family of Triumph and especially in this season of global crisis. You must ask the Lord to protect and to defend members of your family and to protect and defend members of the triumphant chapel family and God going to cause his prevailing grace to be renewed in every area of our life that no matter what tragedies are going on around the world, no member of our family and the family of triumphant chapel will be a victim in the name of Jesus Christ. So make sure you connect into the spirit and trust the Lord that every prayer we are going to pray today as we join our faith together, no matter where any one of us is connected from, heaven will answer us speedily in the name of Jesus Christ. At the end of today's family service, I decree that there shall be harvest of testimony from members of your families in the name of Jesus Christ. There shall be harvest of testimony in the life of members of the Triumphant Chapel family in the name of Jesus Christ. So let's get it all together. Remember the Bible says, whatever the two of us shall agree are touching on art, it shall be done for us of our Father who is in heaven. So let us connect together in the spirit and trust the Lord that every request that we are going to put across to him for all our families today, God will deliver them speedily to us as answer prayers in the name of Jesus Christ. Also, I want to encourage every one of us that was unable to connect with our breakthrough and deliverance prayer night to please make sure that you get to our YouTube channel and make sure you listen to that message because God gave us a powerful revelation that I know is going to help every one of us to stay afloat in this season of global pandemic with strong confidence in our heart that at the end of this season, God's prevailing grace will cause us to enjoy testimonies on every side and every agenda of the enemy to frustrate God's will for us in this year 2020. All of them shall be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember the Bible says in the book of Hosea chapter 4 and verse number 6a that my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. And the book of Proverbs chapter 11 and verse number 9b, the Bible says, through knowledge shall the jaws be delivered. So make sure you get to that message and draw from the revelation in that message so that you can break every hold of the devil that is trying to make a mess of the manifestation of the grace of God upon your life. Remember, faith comes by hearing and by hearing by the word of God. And then Matthew 9.29, I will say it is to you according to your faith. Be blessed again as we proceed in today's service. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, I want to thank you for the life of all your people, all your sons and your daughters that are connected with today's workers. Wherever anyone is taking part in this family Sunday service, I decree that your corporate anointing be released upon the life of everyone in the name of Jesus Christ. Let every family represented in this family Sunday service today, let them receive the impact and the manifestation of your grace and glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, all the prayer which I'll be praying today and the power of your word that shall be released unto us will provoke positive impact in the life of every member of our families in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, what again, I want to ask again, every family that is passing through a period of satanic oppression, every family that is passing through a period of satanic attack, I decree in this family, Sabi, let the hold of the devil be broken of their life in the name of Jesus Christ. Every family that is suffering from ancestral foundation and demonic stronghold, I decree by your corporate anointing poured out to us in this family service today, let those chains and let those foundations be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree decreed that the 
power in the blood of Jesus will begin to reverse and begin to destroy every evil covenant that is holding down the destiny of any member of every family represented today in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your prevailing grace be renewed afresh in the life of every family and let there be manifestation of miracles and signs and wonder in the order of your grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, bless your people. Break the hold of barrenness. Father, heal the sick. Send the captives free. Deliver your prayers, especially in this season of COVID-19. We want to thank you one more time because we can see the manifestation of your power. Father, Lord, breaking the hold of this virus over the nations of the earth. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, our through this season, Father, keep your people safe. Keep your people protected. Keep your people defended. Keep your people under your divine canopy. No one shall be a victim from any family represented here today in the name of Jesus Christ. Break the hold of barrenness. Terminate every spirit of miscarriage. Terminate every spirit of poverty. Destroy every spirit of setback. Destroy every spirit of stagnation. Visit every family today and let there be the harvest of unlimited testimonies in the name of Christ. For the family of Triumphant Chapel, we want to thank you because you have been showing yourself faithful and mighty even in this season of global crisis. There have been harvests of testimonies of healings and deliverance and breakthroughs and turnaround. Father, even in this family service, let there be a reinforcement of the same order of signs and wonder in the life of your people in the name of Jesus Christ. Because the Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter 8 and verse 18, I and the children the Lord has given to me, we are for signs and we are for wonder. Therefore, I decree for every member of the triumphant chapel family and everyone that is connected with today's service, let there be manifestation of your signs and wonders in every area of their life in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, at the end of today's service, let your heaven be open for the manifestation of your prevailing grace that will provoke amazing encounters for everyone in the name of Jesus Christ. Bless your people today. Bless every family today. Bless every member of the Trafalgar Chapel family today. And bless the Trafalgar Chapel family. And let your name alone be glorified. Send your word to us again today. Anoint my tongue with the coal of fire. As I speak, let healings begin to take place. I shall speak, let life be impacted. I shall speak, let transformation begin to take place. I shall speak, let souls be convicted by the Holy Spirit. I shall speak, let there be change. Let there be deliverances. Let there be divine lifting and the release of free grace upon the life of everyone that is part of today's service. Bless your people, mighty Father, and let your name be glorified. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. In continuation of the series of teachings that we started since the beginning of this month, I will be speaking to you on a message I titled, Unfolding the Prevailing Power of the Grace of God in the Journey of Life, Part 6. And in this Part 6, we shall be looking at how to provoke the manifestation of the grace of God in every area of our life. How do you provoke the manifestation of the grace of God in every area of your life? Remember, grace is applied. Because sometimes you find some people, they are enjoying certain grace. You can see the manifestation of the grace of God in certain areas of their life that they are not struggling to get results. Things are just working out on every side. But you find out that in some other areas of their life, it's like they lack grace. They are struggling, they are frustrated, they are even failing in that area. So when we talk about the grace of God in this season, that's why we are referring to it as the prevailing grace of God. It's the grace of God that is sufficient to cause positive result and positive exploit. To manifest in every area of our life. Because when life is lopsided, the area that things are not working will always put pressure on the area that things are working. It's just like families, I swear all the time we have to go to pray that God will bless every member of our family. Because when every member of the family is enjoying God's grace and enjoying God's blessings and making progress, there's little or nothing to be envious about because everybody's enjoying the bless of God upon their life. But when one person is enjoying great grace and other people are just struggling here and there, before you know everyone's 
focus is on the person whose grace is manifesting. Whereas every other person also has grace that has not been triggered up. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree that in this family Sunday, the grace of God shall be triggered in the life of every member of our families in the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone that is struggling with any subject matter in their life, anyone struggling, their marriage struggling, their businesses struggling, their finances struggling, in their head struggling, their spiritual life, I decree that the prevailing grace of God that God is pouring out to us in this month of May. We rub upon every one of them in the name of Jesus Christ. There shall be supernatural breakthroughs and supernatural turnaround. Surprise, surprise visitation in the life of every member of our families in the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone that has been under any satanic oppression and affliction for a long time in your family, by the prevailing grace of God, the healing power of God will heal them this is it and bring them out from their sick bed in the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone that has been suffering from any satanic plague, by the manifestation of the grace of God in that your family beginning from today, there shall be supernatural turnaround and breakthroughs for them in the name of Jesus Christ. So how do you provoke the manifestation of the grace of God in every area of your life? I'm sure that from the revelations we have received since the beginning of this month on this subject of God's prevailing grace, I'm sure that the appetite of every one of us have been watered. To know how to provoke the manifestation of this grace. How do I receive this grace in my life? Because with all that has been said about the benefit and the blessedness of the manifestation of the grace of God that we have spoken about all this while, I am sure that every one of us is salivating and hungry to have the grace of God provoke in their life so that things can begin to turn around and we can live a life of surprise, surprise and become a showpiece of our world wherever we find ourselves. And I declare in the name of Jesus Christ, by reason of the insight and revelation of God is given to us in this month of May. God's prevailing grace shall explode in every area of our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. And no matter what dimension of God's grace that you are experiencing in your life, which has caused certain level of testimonies and positive results and exploits and breakthroughs, you still require greater grace on every side to move to the next level because advancement we see is from the time the grace of God no longer increases in our life. That is why every season we must trust God to going to increase His grace in our life because it is not the grace of God that brought us to where we are today that will sustain us to the next level. We need God to increase the grace so that the next level will be set ready with the relevant grace that we have received from God to launch into that dimension that God has ordained for us. So I want to believe that as God is pouring down his grace upon us this is it it is to empower us to fulfill his prophecy to us in this year 2020 we say that it's our year of higher levels therefore no matter the level where you are now the grace of God you need for the next level I decree that it shall be released upon you beginning from this month in the name of Jesus Christ remember the Bible said in the book of 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse number 18 it said grow in grace grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So God is expecting us to continue to increase and grow in His grace every day so that His blessings and glory and testimony will going to increase in our life on a daily basis. And the number one key we shall be discussing today that will provoke the manifestation of the grace of God in the life of any man or any woman is what I refer to as the force of salvation. The force of of salvation. What is salvation? In the book of Romans chapter 10 and verse number 9, the Bible says, if you shall confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, he said you shall be saved. In verse 10, the Bible says, with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, but with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Talking about Jesus from the book of John chapter 1 from verse 1, the Bible says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. It said, the same was in the beginning with God, for all things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. He said, in him was life, and the life became the light of men, and that light shines into darkness, and the darkness comprehended it now. Verse number 5. Then if you slip down to verse 11, the Bible says, He came to His own, and His own received Him not. And verse 12, the Bible says, But as many 
as receive him to them he gave power to become the sons of God, even unto them that believe in his name. And in verse 14, the Bible says that the word was made flesh and dwell among men. And we behold his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. These scriptures helps us to understand that Jesus Christ is the embodiment and the epitome of God's grace to the world. He came by that grace and he came with that grace and he came in that grace to save the world from the struggles and the oppression of the devil, which man was exposed to at the fall in the garden of Eden, when man sinned against God through the deceit and the manipulation of the devil. But when Jesus Christ came to the world, the Bible says that he came in the fullness of the grace of God upon his life. Therefore, from the day anyone accepts Jesus as their Lord and personal Savior, you are supernaturally grafted into the grace of God that brought salvation unto the world in Christ Jesus. So, every one of us that is a child of God, the Bible says, as many as his children, he gave power to become the sons of God. So, from the day you become the son of God, Jesus Christ said in John chapter 20, verse 21, as the Father has sent me, even so send I you. So, if Jesus Christ came with the manifestation of the fullness of the grace of God upon his life, and now from the day you gave your life to Christ, the same order of God's grace is released into your life. That's what the Bible says in the book of Ephesians chapter 2 from verse number 8, that by grace you are saved through faith. It is not of yourself, but it is the gift of God. The Bible says it is not of work, lest any man should boast. So the manifestation of the grace of God is what brought salvation unto the world. That's why the Bible says in the book of Titus chapter 2 and verse number 11, that the grace of God that brought salvation has appeared unto all men. So every one of us is a beneficiary of the grace of God in Christ Jesus from the day we accept Jesus as our Lord and personal Savior through our faith in God, believing in the death and in the resurrection of Jesus Christ. If thou shalt confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in your heart that God has raised him up from the dead, he said, you shall be saved. All you simply need is to be cautious of this your newfound grace in God. It is not of your works. It is not of what you have done. It is by your faith and your belief in Jesus, accepting Jesus as your Lord and Savior, as you go through the journey of life. So the same order of grace that Jesus Christ brought to the world, which introduced and brought salvation onto the world, reconciling humanity to God, the same order of grace is injected into you from the day you gave your life to Jesus Christ. That is why every child of God, every born again child of God, is a beneficiary of the grace of God. And from the day you gave your life to Christ, you become a carrier of the grace of God as you go through the journey of life. So all you simply need to do is to be conscious and believe that there's the manifestation of God's grace upon your life. This is why as a child of God, you don't need to envy anybody who is manifesting grace in any area of your life. Because the same order of grace has been injected into your life at salvation. The same Jesus who is the embodiment of the grace of God that brought salvation to the world is working in your life in the same way as caused the other one to manifest. Your own is also going to manifest and make you a surprise to your world and a showpiece anywhere you appear. Because the same grace of God came through Jesus Christ. And now that you have accepted Jesus Christ as a Lord, a personal Savior, you are entitled to the manifestation of the grace of God as you go through the journey of life. All you simply need to do is to know how to apply that God's grace in every area of your life and the steps you need to take in order to continue to increase and to grow in the grace of God that you have received upon your life. Remember, it is not the dimension of the grace of God you receive at salvation. The day you gave your life to Christ, it's not the same grace that will take you to the heights 
of enjoying all the covenant blessing that has been packaged for us as salvation. So every of the package that you need to unlock, you need a dimension of grace to be injected afresh into you. That's why that scripture is very important. In Second Peter chapter 3 and verse number 18, I'll say every one of us must grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So all you need every day is to continue to seek out, to point to search out the relevant steps you need to take as we are dealing with them in this season. That's why I want to make sure that beginning from now up to next week, we are going to be looking at the different steps and the different actions, the different things you need to do in order to keep growing and keep increasing in the grace of God that is made available to you at salvation. Listen to this. You can't afford to stay at the same level of grace. Everybody is moving. God God is expecting us to move from one level of glory to another and for every level of glory we require to manifest in your life we always require a fresh dimension of the grace of God to be manifested in your life so every day you have to continue to do what is necessary as God has given to us to come to grow and to increase the grace of God that is at work in your life and the more you grow in the grace of God the more you increase in the grace of God the greater the breakthrough the greater the result the greater the exploit and the greater the testimony you enjoy as you go through the journey of life. So I want to encourage every one of us that beginning from this season, you must be cautious of the fact that you are a child of God and that from the day you gave your life to Christ, God's grace has been injected into your life. And by the grace of God, beginning from Tuesday, I will be taking my time to start exposing to us these heavenly keys that has been given to us by God to help us grow. In his grace every day because God is aware that the limit of our destiny is a function of the limit of the manifestation of the grace of God upon our life. So the greater you increase and grow in the grace of God in your life every day, the greater you fulfill the destiny God has ordained for you. Therefore, don't be locked. I thank God for where you are now. Thank God for what God has done by his grace in your life. But I want you to know that there are greater things that God has prepared for you which require a higher destiny dimension of his grace in order to get them unlocked upon your life. And I know that beginning from this season, as you release yourself to acquire fresh insight on what to do, God's grace will surely increase your life beginning from this season. And as the grace of God begins to increase and multiply in every area of your life, I see your life turning around on every side and breaking forth on every side in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that as God increases and multiplies grace upon our life, this is it. Whatever the dimension of the grace of God upon your life has not been able to do for you, I decree that the next phase of the grace that shall be released upon you will surely bring solution and testimony to you in that area in the name of Jesus Christ. So I want to encourage every one of you to please don't miss the Tuesday service. Beginning from Tuesday, we are going to be unveiling the keys that will help you to power up the grace of God upon your life that on a daily basis, your grace will come to grow and going to increase and so that your blessings and your testimony will as well going to increase and grow on every side. One thing I know is that beginning from this season, whatever represents a spirit of stagnation, whatever is keeping you at the same level of your life, by reason of the prevailing grace of God that is coming afresh upon our life, beginning from this season, every of soul power shall be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit of setback, every spirit of delay, every spirit of procrastination, every spirit of stagnation, I command by the manifestation of the grace of God, they shall all be destroyed in your life beginning from this season in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible said in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 6 it said you have stayed too long on this mountain. It is time to move forward. Therefore in the name of Jesus Christ as God increases grace upon our life beginning from this month I decree that every position will be stagnated. Every aspect of life that will be stranded. I pray that the grace of God will break you free in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever has held you back in the form of sickness, the form of satanic oppression the form of demonic oppression. I decree that the manifestation of the next level of grace that God is bringing upon us will break you free in the name of Christ. Every devil that has been oppressing and holding you down, every night they are coming, every day they are shooting arrows that are hitting you down. As the Lord increases grace upon your life from this season, I declare that the table shall be turned against them in the name of Jesus Christ. God will make you stronger than all your enemy beginning from this season because when God's prevailing grace come upon your life, you are able to deal with every devil that want to frustrate the plan and purpose of God in your life. Listen to this. This season is a season of changing level as we trust God 
to increase his grace upon our life. Therefore, I've come to announce to you that concerning you and members of your household and members of your family, there shall be total turnaround and change of levels in the name of of Jesus Christ. So, I want to believe that everyone of us is looking forward to that Tuesday service as we begin to unlock more and more, letting you know that as a child of God, you are not permitted to remain at the same level. As far as you keep growing and keep increasing the grace of God upon your life, you will continue to see your life flying from glory to glory to glory onto the perfect day. And that will be your testimony beginning from this season. Mind you, as a child of God, Jesus Christ has injected into you the grace of God that brought salvation to the world. So you are now a candidate for God's grace. You are now a carrier of God's grace. Be cautious of this and don't allow yourself to be carried away with any breakthrough or by anybody's breakthrough. Believe that there's something inside of you, the same order of grace, even with greater order of grace is inside of you to give you your own desired breakthrough. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, beginning from this month, there shall be manifestation of higher levels of testimony in every area of your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Be blessed in this special family Sunday and please if you have not done your praise and worship make sure you get yourself a tune and make the service a graceful one so that at the end of it all every one of you will have a testimony to return. For your family today's service will mark a turning point in the life of every one of them. Be blessed again and have a wonderful Sunday. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Therefore, we are blessed, we are lifted and we are going higher. 2020, our year of higher levels, our year of higher level, God's grace has prevailed for us. Amen.